same no matter time, no place. They don't understand that us kids are going to make some mistakes. So to you other kids all across the land, there's no need to argue. Parents just don't understand. But one year, my mom took me school shopping. It was me, my brother, my mom, oh, my pop, and my little sister all hopped in the car. We headed downtown to the gallery mall. My mom started bugging with the clothes she chose. I didn't say nothing at first. I just turned to my nose. She said, what's wrong? This shirt costs $20. I said, mom, the shirt is plaid with a butterfly collar. The next half hour was the same old thing. My mother buying me clothes from 1963. And then she lost her mind and did the ultimate. I asked her for Adidas and she bought me zips. I said, Mom, what are you doing? You ruined my rap. She said, you're only 16. You don't have a rap yet. I said, Mom, let's put these clothes back, please. She said, no. You go to school to learn, not for a fashion show. I said, this is a shine and I, come on, Mom, I'm not Bowser. Mom, please, but back the bell bottom, Brady one's trousers. But if you don't want to, I can live with that. But you got to put back the double knit reversible slacks. She wasn't weird and everything stayed the same. Inevitably, the first day of school came. I thought I could get over. I tried to play sick, but my mom said, no, no way, uh-uh, forget it. There was nothing I could do. I tried to relax. I got dressed up in those ancient artifacts. And when I walked into school, it was just as I thought. The kids were cracking up, laughing at the clothes mom bought. And those who weren't laughing still had a ball. Cause they were pointing and whispering as I walked down the hall. I got home and told my mom how my day went. She said, if they were laughing, you don't need them because they're not good friends. For the next six hours, I tried to explain to my mom that I was going to have to go through this about 200 more times. So to you other kids all across the land, there's no need to argue. Parents just don't understand. Okay, here's the situation. My parents went away on a week's vacation. Not. I'll just take it for a little spin and maybe show it off to a couple of friends. I'll just cruise it around the neighborhood. Well, maybe I should. Yeah, of course I should. Pay attention, here's the thick of the plot. I pulled up to the corner at the end of my block. And that's when I saw this beautiful girl, the girl walking. I picked up my car phone to perpetrate like I was talking. You should have seen this girl's bodily dimensions. I honked my horn just to get her attention. She said, was that for me? I said, yeah. She said, why? I said, come on and take a ride with a hell of a guy. She said, how do I know you're not sick? You could be some deranged lunatic. I said, come on, toots. My name is the Prince. Besides, what a lunatic you have a Porsche like this. She agreed and we were on our way. She was looking very good, so was I must say. Word. We hit McDonald's, pulled into the drive. We ordered two Big Macs and two large fries for Cokes. She kicked the shoes off onto the floor. She said, drive fast, speed turns me on. She put her hand on my knee. I put my foot on the gas. We almost got whiplash. I took off so fast. The sunroof was open. The music was high. And this girl's hand was steadily moving up my thigh. She had opened up three buttons on her shirt so far. I guess that's why I didn't notice that police car. We're doing 90 in my mom's new Porsche. And to make this long story short, short, when the cop pulled me over, I was scared as hell. I said, I don't but I drive very well, officer. I almost had a heart attack that day. Come to find out the girl was a 12-year-old runaway. I was arrested. The car was impounded. There was no way for me to avoid being grounded. My parents had to come off a vacation to get me. I'd rather be in jail than to have my father hit me. My parents walked in and I got my grip. I said, uh, mom, dad, how was your trip? They didn't speak. I said, I don't want to plead my case. But my father just shoved me in the car by my face. That was a hard ride home. I don't know how I survived it. They took turns. One would beat me while the other one was driving. I can't believe it. I just made a mistake. Well, parents are the same no matter time, no place. So to you other kids all across the land, take it from me. Parents just don't understand. I'm a punk rock prom queen Brown paper magazine Hotter than you've ever seen Everywhere and in between I'm a tent ticket through a ride Don't you wanna come inside? A five-star triple threat Hardest of the hearts I can't no 
Jimmy Hatter. 